What's up guys, this is Coach Ray and today we're going to show you tips on how to win at Armisen. So today I'm having help from my colleague, a fellow Armisen trainer, Range Rudzic. We're going to show you three tips how to win at Armisen. These tips are not for pro Armisers, these tips are for everyone who just wants to beat their friend, their sibling, someone in school. So these are like basic tricks to win at Armisen. We're standing on professional armistice table, but mostly you will armistice on flat surface, so we will take this away. Before we start, please check out the video on how not to break your arm, because uh, the problem with beginners, you know, it's armistice, they don't know how to properly use their body, how to use the rules, so they might have problems in breaking their arms. We can show you three tips on how to win at armistice. So the first one, Arm sling is pulling, not pushing. So, when everyone thinks about arm sling, they're thinking about this motion, that they're just pushing the arm on one side. Uh, this is advanced technique, it's called side press, if you can use it, but mostly arm sling is pulling. So, we're taking thumb to thumb grip, either I'm pulling like this, over, or inside. So these are two main techniques, this is called top roll, this is called the hook. Most basic thing you can do is top roll because everyone already wants to go inside. So he he wants to go inside. He just wants to push the arm that way. So all I need to do is open up his fingers and do like this. So first thing you need to understand about arm sling: don't push, pull. If you are going inside, then pull to yourself. If you're going outside, again, still doing the pulling movement. So the second tip, before you start the match, you take the grip and you will load up a little bit. So you will pull your arm a little bit up and for yourself. So you're creating tension, your muscles are already ready. So if he wants to go inside, because most of the guys will go inside, you can go outside because you're already ready to catch him there. So mostly if you're wrestling, <coughs> If you arm wrestling another beginner, he will just try to push your arm that way. So he's trying to push me, I'm loading up and I can block him and get away with it. So most important part is to be higher than him. So when you're higher, you have more chances of winning. Third thing, grip. Guys like to take this grip, they will push their thumbs together and, and go as low as they can. From this position, it's really hard to go on top. So because he can hold me with his fingers and, and I will do the same, try to go up. So I, it's really easy for me to hold him because he has not that much leverage right there. So what you need to do, don't take this kind of grip, just take the normal grip and try to stay as high as you can. You need to have your knuckles visible, but try to go as high as you can. So the higher you are, it's easier for you to be to top roll, to top roll to go outside because almost everyone immediately first response in arm sling is they're pushing, they're going inside. This is more of hook mo motion, and it's easier to beat them just to open up their fingers. All three things together. So we're taking we're taking the grip. I'm taking as high as I can. I'm loading up a little bit, and let's say. For today, he's a beginner, so he will just push inside. Yeah? He will not use that much of his wrist, he will just push him inside. So from here, I can open him up, open his fingers. So before the start of the match, someone will say go, and it's easy for me to open up the wrist and fingers. You just have to pull back and then to the side. These are our three tips on how to win at Armistice for beginners, 